Canelo Alvarez versus Golovkin is this week, next weekend. Does anybody care? Let's talk. Straighter, yep. not yep. a roundhouse right hand. And that's what we've been talking about, the straight shot. It's the one where he gets leverage on it. I don't want to kill Pull back a little bit. Seconds. Nah, I want a body on my record. Now, I want to see you fight, motherfuckers. I do. All right, I'm with you. I'm with you. As long as, as, long as you're trying to fight the great, that you're, or the, the, the best competition. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you go around, we're here. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you you dare to bury you alive, I'm prepared to Welcome to the graveyard You get the sources from clowns So when you come around, we are here It was the best, fight the best If you ain't with the moto, just click the link, bitch And get buried like the rest It ain't gonna work how you want it These trolls already tried, too many come but don't leave So if you here, you gotta die, spitting straight facts These bitches crying cause they hate that The LDBC's the top topic, bitch, take that Be the best to bring the truth to these fans So why you hate, I'ma laugh and keep counting these bands to the graveyard, click the link, get prepared to bury you alive. I'm prepared to welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns, so when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard, click the link if you dare to bury you alive. I'm prepared to welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns, so when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. So, Canelo Alvarez and Golovkin are fighting on. The Zone pay per view. They're fighting on a network that was solely and specifically created to remove or replace pay per view. Yet they did what the WBA, the WBC, and the WBO did. Right? They created something extra that was supposed to replace something and saw an opportunity to double dip and just kept both things. WBA was only supposed to have a WBA super for a champion who was unified or unifying. The WBC was only supposed to have the franchise for the same exact thing. The WBO just created the WBO global and super champion out of nowhere. Nobody even know when the fuck this shit started. It just created out of nowhere and bam. Now you go from having a having to defend your belt every nine months to now having to defend it every 18 months out of nowhere. Well, that's what DAZN did. DAZN created the platform, or what entered America with the sole purpose of replacing um, pay-per-view. Eddie Hearn went on this full tirade about pay-per-view is dead. Nobody is going to get pay-per-view. Now that you can find, you can watch Canelo, uh, Joshua, Buatze, Okali, Golf, Marbles, Quidditch. You know, so you can watch all those for nine ninety nine. Yeah. Whatever. Here we are. Here we are now with Bum Lofkin and Cinnamon Clarus. We have Bum Lofkin and Canelo fighting at the end of this week. And I'm just curious if anybody really cares. There has been zero buzz. Zero promotion, absolutely nothing. Nothing. People are more hyped about the thought of Errol Spence, Can uh, Terrence Crawford, than they are Canelo Alvarez, Golovkin. They were dumb hype over Savannah Marshall getting about to get beat up by uh, Clarissa Shields. You know, uh, Bomb Garner. They was more worried about those fights. People were really gassed about those fights. Nobody was really giving a fuck about Canelo Alvarez versus Golovkin. And it's literally next week. Literally next week. On DAZN pay-per-view. <laughs> you know, these type of things are the things that make you sit back and think about a lot of stuff. This is Canelo Alvarez. This is the guy that's supposed to be, they call him the face of boxing. He's really not, but that's what they call him. Face of boxing. Canelo Alvarez is this and Canelo Alvarez is that. That's fine. 
well, if you're fighting, shouldn't the buzz be crazy? Shouldn't the buzz be like, oh, man, Canelo's about to fight. This is crazy, man. Canelo's about to get it in, man. This we got to watch this Canelo fight. I mean, I see nothing. I hear absolutely nothing. Um, No buzz, no hype, no hoopla, no nothing. Canelo Alvarez is fighting a man in Golovkin that he said he will never fight again because he has nothing to prove. Yet, he's fighting him and everybody just brushing it off. Bum Lofkin, they talk about this man's going to the Hall of Fame. This man's so many title defenses and the best middleweight of our era, a generation. He arguably, he might beat Monzone and Hagler and all these guys and blah, blah, blah. And he's on the pound for pound list and yada, yada, yada. But he's only fought in one weight class. This is literally the second weight class of his entire career that he's ever fought in. Literally the second one after claiming that he knocks everybody out from 154 through 168 and some 175 pounders This is literally his second weight class the first time that he stepped out of, of 160 pounds his entire professional career Yet no one says anything about that either They do not care they don't care. They just say clitoris. Cinnamon clitoris is the face of boxing. They don't clear, care. They say bum love because a pound a pound fighter. Blah, 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 yada, yada. Then they go around and say, oh, well, the reason why such and such ain't the face of boxing because Canelo Alvarez sells. Canelo Alvarez is a star. Canelo Alvarez, and I'm not saying he's not a star. I'm not saying he doesn't sell. But what I am saying is if you are the face of boxing, Floyd Mayweather is about to have an exhibition fight. We know more people talk more about the exhibition fight that Floyd's about to have than Canelo Alvarez, and he's about to have an actual fight. Floyd Mayweather um, dictates Tank Davis's career. People talk more about Floyd Mayweather dictating Tank Davis's career than they do about Canelo Alvarez fighting Bum Lofkin next weekend. The only time Canelo Alvarez's name gets buzz or ring in this situation is when Floyd Mayweather shits on him. That's it. So I have a very valid, very honest, very simple question. Who the fuck cares? Does anybody care? I mean, I, what's the what's the relevance of this fight? It's not like Canelo has anything to, to gain. What's the relevance? He's fighting a man he beat already, arguably beat twice, arguably one and one with. But yet he's still fighting... A man he's already fought twice, and the last time they won, the last time he won, he, there was no third fight contractual obligation, no fourth fight contractual obligation. Canelo Alvarez told the world, I'm never fighting him again because I have nothing to gain, nothing to prove. Told, Canelo Alvarez told Golovkin to go win belt somewhere else. Make me fighting you worth my while. That is what Canelo said. Yet here we are, this man is fighting a, a guy with his belt on the line, Bum Lufkin has no belts whatsoever. Correction, two at 160, but none at 68 where this fight will be campaigned. I wonder if the WBA is going to do Golovkin like they did Guillermo Rigondeaux. If Golovkin loses to Canelo Alvarez, will they strip him? I'm just asking. Golovkin is the IBF and WBA champion at 160. He is got about to compete at 168. Will his titles be vacant? I'm just asking. Does anybody care? <laughs> I'm just keeping it a buck, bro. Does anybody care? Real shit. Does anybody care? So, I was looking at the comments of this article. And when I was looking at the comments... This is what they look like. To be perfectly honest, I was 100 times more excited for Shields versus Marshall, but I'm happy enough to tune into the trilogy fight. It's a bit long in the tooth at this stage, and I think Canelo will take a clear points victory this time over a slightly exp expired version of Golovkin. Another guy says Canelo by UD. Another guy says, don't know about anyone else, but I just don't seem to be able to get excited about this. Maybe I will by fight night. Another guy says, I will watch the bout and enjoy the events that surround it, 
but I would have much rather have seen both men face someone else. Dizon and Hearn wanted the bout for years, and I get it financially. Another guy says, same here. The poor judge's decision in the first fight, then the failed drug test prior to the second fight, and finally the four or five year gap between the second and third fight really took the shine off this. They should have fought 2015 when Golovkin was Canelo's mandatory, but Canelo went south to fight Liam Liam. Now, I ask the question again. Do you care? Y'all let me know. BFTB. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. And I'm out.